Congratulations, you've made it to the Module 2 lab. And this is a relatively simple lab, and we're going to be chaining curves, and then we'll be modifying those curves that we've chained. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin by first chaining the closed curves that you see in the part area. And uh, there are three. Um, our circle on the left will be curve one, the circle on the right will be curve two, and then the triangular pocket will be curve number three. So let's go ahead and take care of those closed curves first. And from the Construct menu, you select Curve, and then select the Chaining option, and pick Closed Curve. And at the bottom, we're being asked to pick the geometry of the segment to create the closed loop. And you'll note that uh, by default, it says Curve 7 down in the name block. We're going to change that to Curve number 1. And uh, once we've done that, we'll go ahead and pick our or select our curve, which is curve one. And it's highlighted in blue, which tells us that that entire curve is, uh, is selected. And once we've done that, we're going to get, go ahead and just uh, select the Create button to complete the curve. And the bold line goes away, and we have a, a, a standard blue line which now shows that that curve has been created. And over in the part view, you'll see curve one is now active under the curves uh, menu. So we'll go ahead and select curve number two. And let's go again, and we're going to select or change our name block to curve number two. And we will select the circle on the right-hand side. And you'll see that it's highlighted in bold blue. And when we're happy with that, we'll hit create. And we're completed with that. And now we'll select curve number three. And we'll select anywhere in the triangular pocket. And you'll see that the entire pocket is highlighted in bold blue. And we will create that. And we are finished with creating our, or in this case here, chaining our closed curves. <laughs> so now we can go ahead and begin chaining the two open curves that you see uh, running from the bottom of the triangular pocket to the to the uh, to the bottom of the part, and there are two. This is curve number four, and this will be curve number five on the right hand side. So now these are these are not closed curves; these are open curves. So again, from the construct menu, select curve, chaining, and in this case here for a for an open curve, we're going to select or pick the pieces of our curve. So we select on Pick Pieces. Now we want our curve to go from the, uh, at least the direction of the curve, we want it to go from the uh, triangular pocket down to the edge of the part. So let's select in that direction. So we're going to select uh, the first segment, the radius, the second radius, the third radius, and the final segment that goes to the outside of the part. And when we're happy with that, it's highlighted in bold blue. We're going to rename this as curve number four and we will create it. And we're going to do the same thing for the curve on the right-hand side, but this will be curve number five. Select the first segment, first radius, the second radius, third radius, and the final segment, and select on Create. So now, a couple of things that we want to do is we want to verify the direction and starting points of all of our curves. So we this is relatively simple to do. Um, we'll go back to the Construct menu. We'll go Curve. We'll select From Curve. And we're going to use the Curve Start Reverse function. And you'll note that a Curve Start Reverse window opens and it allows us to select from Curve 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 in this case here, let's let's keep it on curve one, and you'll note that our curve direction is counterclockwise, as indicated by the arrow. And but you'll note that your the starting point for this curve is at the 90 degree quadrant, and we'd like to change that. We'd like to keep the direction going counterclockwise, but let's go ahead and change it to where our starting point is at the top of the curve, at the uh, the zero degree quadrant. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to select the Set Start Point option. And 
now we're going to select the Pick New Start Point icon. And we simply bring the cursor to the top of the circle and click. And to preview it, we hit the preview button. And that's exactly where we want our starting point to be. And we can see that our curve is still in the counterclockwise direction. And we're happy with that. We'll hit apply. So let's go ahead and move on to curve number two, the circle on the right hand side. And for curve number two, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for curve one. In this case here, the radio button is already set to set start point. We're going to select the pick new start point icon and select at the top of the circle. We'll preview it. Looks exactly the way we want it to, to, to look and hit apply. And we're finished with that. So let's look at curve three, which is our triangular pocket. Now this particular curve, we want to reverse the direction of it. You can see that the direction is currently specified in the red arrow here as counterclockwise and the start point is up here in the upper right hand corner. We want to change that. We want the direction of the curve to be clockwise and we also want our start point to be right down here in the bottom of the triangular pocket. So two operations that we need to do. Let's do them one at a time. And the first thing that we want to do is reverse this curve. So let's take care of that first. We've, we've selected reverse, uh, the reverse button. We're going to preview that. And you can see that the curve is now going counterclockwise as indicated by the blue arrow. That's correct. We'll go ahead and apply that. Now what we want to do is set the start point for that curve. And that start point is going to be set at the bottom of the triangular pocket. So let's pick new start point. We're going to put that start point right at the bottom of the triangular pocket. Let's preview it. That is exactly what we're looking for as indicated by the bold blue arrow. Start point at the bottom, direction clockwise. When we're happy with that, apply it and we're complete. So let's take a look at curve number four and five. Now, curve if you recall, curve four and five are both open curves, a little bit different. So let's hit curve four and you can see the direction of this curve is in the direction that uh, that we that we uh, that we're looking for. It's going from the bottom of the pocket to the bottom of the part. So that is correct. If we wanted to reverse that, you could just preview it and it would be going the other direction. We don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and and uh, move on to curve five. And you can see curve five is also going in the proper direction that we want it to go. So we're, what we'll do at this point is we'll simply cancel the operation. And we are complete. And from here, what we'd want to do is go back to our construct menu, curve from a curve, curve start reverse. And you can see curve one is where it needs to be to, uh, counterclockwise, start point at the top, curve two, same, looks good. Curve number three, start point at the bottom of the triangular pocket, clockwise rotation. Curve number four, starting from the bottom of the pocket and going to the bottom of the part, that's correct. Curve number five, same, starting from the bottom of the triangular pocket to the outside of the part. So this concludes this tutorial for Module 2, Lab 2. Um, after you've completed your work, go ahead and save the file and turn it into your instructor following the instructions specified in the lab. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.